Fizme allows you to create pop-ups, rollovers, and pretty much apply uh, actions to any object on your screen. Here's a great example of a pop-up effect. Uh, in this case, we have a Tesla Model X, and we've got these nice rims on it, and I want to create a hover effect to show a little bit more details or a close-up of it. So by rolling over, you can see that I'm showing the arrow with the uh, text and the object. Uh, in this case, a ram right above it. So how is this done? In Visme, what you can do is pretty much create, uh, apply actions to any of your objects. So what I'm going to do is go to this slide, which has my image. Um, what you want to do is you want to place an object, in this case a shape, to the area that you want to apply an action to. Now, by the way, you can actually make the shape uh, transparent if you don't want to be able to see the area. So let's say that if I wanted to make the rim um, itself uh, in you know the area, then the complete area of the rim, the clickable area. In that case, what I would need to do though is to um, make the um, go to the effects and apply transparency to that object. So even though I don't see it, the object is there. And so then I could go and apply the action, in this case, the link to it. All right. But for the purpose of this tutorial um, and for this design, uh, what I want to do is to be able to actually see the, uh, the circle. Okay. So let me go ahead and size a circle. Again, you can manually size it down, or you can just go and apply your own size. And again, I'm going to lock this setting on the top left and just make it about 40 pixels. Let's go ahead and unlock it, make it 40 total. There we go. And I'll go ahead and just place this to the bottom here. Now, this is my object that I want to apply the link to. And where do I show the objects? I have a lot of empty space here, so what I want to do is place my objects here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and grab an image that was uploaded before to the library. Again, you can upload your own image if you need to. This image was already uploaded. So it's here, and I'd selected a transparent image, so I'm going to apply it. Now, yeah, it's very large. I'll size it down, of course. And also, what I want it to be is at the similar angle as the rim. So I'll go ahead and just flip this up, flip it horizontally, and move it down a little bit here. I also have this arrow that I'm going to bring up here. And again, this arrow. Uh, align this item along with other lines can be found here under the lines and they can si you can size and customize each one. And also I prepared a text here so I'll just move this text layer right up here. Okay. Now here's the thing. These are three separate objects. All right, so there's one object, two objects and there's three. And if I want to apply an action, I can only apply an action to one item. Let me show you. So I click on this and I go to links and it asks me what kind of a effect do I want to do. I'm not going to be linking to a website. I'm not linking to a slide. I'm going to be creating a pop-up. So I'm going to apply that and then go to the drop-down and select from the layers that I can link to. But each of these is individual layers. How is it that I want to have all these three show at the same time? It's very simple. All you do is group the three objects together. And I can do it this way. I can either just draw a line around this area um, and then I can group it, or what I could do is hold down the shift key on my keyboard, click this object, click the text, and then click this line. And now I need to go and click on group. And I've now grouped this object. Um, I don't really know what the name of the object is, so if I, again, want to get a little more detailed, I can go to my objects list, and it's here. So if I click on an object, it's going to select it. So there's my group. Just for the purposes of uh, simplicity, I'm going to call a pop-up. And now what I will do is go to my shape that I want to link from. So I'm going to click this, go to the link, pop-up. And what is the object? I'm going to click the pop-up group. And I want this to be hover. So I could do click, which means if I click it, it will show. In this case, I'm going to do a hover effect, and I'm going to apply it. And let's go ahead and preview it. And again, if I preview or publish is when I can see the interactivity taking place. 
And so here's the preview. I have the object. There's nothing here. I'm going to roll over, and there's my object. So it's a simple um, hover over effect. Now I could go on and put another circle here, uh, another object, and for each of these, I could create a um, similar hover effect. So that's how you can easily uh, apply the um, actions to any of our objects, in this case, create pop-ups. Mm -hmm.